Hey guys, Luke, Luke at UltraConsumer.com here, bringing you another product review, this time of the Cuisinart Multi-Clad Pro MCP-12N Stainless Steel Cookware Kit, as you can see out in front of you. Now, I want to talk about six different aspects of this set. The first one is I want to talk about what's included with the set. The next one is I want to talk about the features and the details. Then I want to talk about it versus the all-clad set, which is kind of the de facto standard for stainless cookware. Then I want to talk about the major negatives of this particular set, as well as give you a quick summary of what we've covered. So let's start out with what's in the set. As you can see here, this is a 12-piece set. I've got an 8-inch and a 10-inch skillet. I've got a 1.5 and, and a 3-quart uh, saucepan. I've got a 3.5-quart saute pan. I've got an 8-quart stock pot. And over here, I've got the steamer insert for the 3-quart saucepan. One other thing I wanted to mention was around the steamer insert. Now I had no idea what a steamer insert was. I thought that this maybe fit in the 8-quart stock pot, but it doesn't. It actually fits in the 3-quart saucepan right on top of it like that. It looks like a fondue. And you fill the bottom pot with some water, and then you can put a bunch of vegetables or whatever you want in the top steamer, put the lid on it like that, and be steaming vegetables. So essentially it's a replacement for something like this, which is your classic sort of steamer that you would put in a stock pot or another big pan. And what I really like about this is it allows you to fit a lot more food in there to steam at once. Um, and you don't have to worry about this extra piece. Of course, you do have to clean that. And by the way, this is not tri-ply, the insert. It's just solid stainless, it looks like. So it's um, a little bit different texture than the rest of the pans. But a very nice addition nonetheless. And I, I think I'd prefer this over the pasta insert that you can get with a certain variation of the set that they sell at Costco. Now let's talk about some of the features and details of this particular set. First of all, I should point out that this set is very, very good looking. Um, the exterior of each of these is brushed all the way up till the top lip, at which point the last half inch or quarter inch or so is, uh, is actually polished. And then if you flip over to the inside of the pan, you've got a brushed base with a polished wall here. And also the handle is uh, polished stainless as well. So it's a very good looking set. It would look awesome if you had the space to to display it via hangers over your you know, kitchen island or something like that. Another feature of this set that I want to talk about is the fact that the lids that come with the set are enough to cover any of the different pans that you see here. So for example, the 8-quart stock pot lid will also fit on the 10-inch skillet. The 3.5-quart saute lid also fits on the 10-inch skillet or the 8-quart stock pot. You also have a lid for the 1.5-quart saucepan the three-quart saucepan, and the steamer insert, which, by the way, also fits on the eight-inch skillet. So a number of lids that fit on all of the different items that you see here. Another cool feature is that all of the pans that you see in this set have the curved lip, so it's easy to pour liquids off without spilling or dripping down the sides. And that's something that you don't see in every uh, brand of cookware. And finally, I want to talk about the handles, which stay cool when you're cooking. They're riveted onto the pan, as you can see here, and they're much more comfortable than a lot of other handles in this type of cookware. Uh, I find that the, the profile of these handles makes it so it's comfortable and easy to control in a bare hand, but it's also nice that you can grab this with a towel and still have the control there. Some handles are a little bit too rounded, and if you're trying to grab it with a towel, if you prefer that, you lose a little bit of that control. So some nice features here, especially the curved lip. Okay, now I want to talk about this set versus the all-clad set. The all-clad set is known as being one of the best quality cookware sets you can get, especially in stainless, but it's also one of the priciest. Now before I say this, I want to point out that I've actually never cooked on an all-clad set myself, but I have held them and compared the feel of the pots and pans in the stores. And what I will say is that if you switch the name on both of these pots and pans, I probably would think this was the nicer set of the two. The build quality of the cookware itself is very, very similar. I find these a little bit more attractive personally. Um, and also the all-clad set has one of the poorest handle designs I've ever held in all the cookware sets that I've tried. It just kind of digs into your hand. One other thing about the all-clad set is that the lips on some of the various saucepans, for example, aren't curved. So when you're pouring, you can actually have some spillage and so forth. But the bottom line is, this is a very, very comparable set, if not, in my opinion, better looking and feeling in some ways. Now I want to talk about some of the negatives that come along with this set. The first one is being a stainless steel cookware set, it does take a little bit more work to get great results. It also takes a little bit more work to clean the pots and pans than you may be used to with some of your nonstick cookware. 
So I've kind of gotten used to preheating my pan before I start cooking on it and adding the oil before I put the actual food in, something that I never paid attention to before. And I find that I'm getting better results with it, but it's also just a little bit more effort on my side before I'm able to cook my food. And it's not a big deal once I get used to it, but it is an extra consideration. Another consideration is they say that you're not supposed to leave salt sitting on the bottom of stainless steel cookware because it can pit the bottom of the pan. So it's something I'm extra cautious about. Another thing to consider when you're cleaning these pans is sometimes the stuff that sticks to the bottom may be a little bit harder to get off. But what you want to do is go ahead and soak them with hot water and um, you know potentially use a little bit of baking soda or vinegar to help loosen up some of those tough stains. And if it's a really tough stain, you can go ahead and use something like Barkeeper's Friend, which cleans these up really nice. Now I did cook, for example, chicken on my 10 inch skillet last night. And I intentionally didn't use Barkeeper's Friend to kind of give you an idea. Um, and you can see that the finish does kind of stain up down there at the bottom. It's a little bit tricky to see in this camera. But it leaves a few marks. It's still very clean and it would easily come off with Barkeeper's Friend. But that's just one more step that you have to do with stainless that you wouldn't have to do with a non-stick version of cookware. So, you know, a little bit more maintenance there that you're looking at. I wouldn't say it's difficult maintenance, but it is a little bit more work nonetheless. But I, I think it's worth it for the great results you'll get. Another potential negative of this set is the warranty and support from Cuisinart. One of the things that happened when I originally purchased this set is one of my lids came with a dented edge or like a little ding in the edge. And what I wanted to do is I actually wanted to test Cuisinart's support. So instead of calling Amazon, which is where I purchased this cookware, I decided to call Cuisinart support directly and see what their support was like. The good news is it didn't take very long to get a hold of somebody who spoke clear English. But the bad news is I was unimpressed with uh, how they stood behind their product. I kind of told them that I pulled the, the lid out of the box dented and I didn't think that was a fault of shipping. And he said, well, you know what? We recommend you go back to Amazon because they're not going to charge you shipping both ways. Whereas if you send it back to us, if it's a warranty claim, you pay to ship the item back to us and then you pay for us to ship the new item or the fixed item back to you. So what that means is, if I ever needed a warranty claim on this pan, for example, I'd pay the, you know, 10 whatever dollars or so to ship it to them. And then I also have to pay for them to ship it back to me. And I think that's a really poor way of setting up a warranty because a lot of the time you're going to end up spending as much in shipping or close to as much in shipping as you would to uh, just go ahead and replace that pan. And of course, you won't have the pan for the time that you're waiting for them to replace it. Um, the guy on the phone also mentioned that, you know, notice this is a limited warranty, keyword limited. So it doesn't cover everything and it's always going to be shipping both ways. So it kind of sounded like they didn't stand really behind their warranty and they're almost discouraging me from using it. I've heard really good things about, for example, the all clad support where they'll replace pans easily and quickly. Whereas I have my doubts about Cuisinart's service and warranty. So something to keep in mind when you're buying that is that could be a major downside depending on how concerned you are with your cookware's warranty. So in conclusion, guys, I really do like this set. Uh, I think the features for the price were great. I think I paid around $209 for it on a sale that they were running on Amazon for a few weeks. And I think at that price, it's an absolute no-brainer to go with this particular cookware set. Especially when you're looking at an all-clad set, which is $6.99 or more, has less comfortable handles, and doesn't have curved lips on all their pieces. The only downside that I can really say right now is that I'd be concerned a little bit about the warranty and support. I do think you would get service, but it might cost you and may not be as easy as you'd like. So something to consider. It's a really nice set of pans. You'll certainly get a lot of use out of it. And I think if you're interested in stainless steel cookware, you're going to really enjoy this set. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave any comments or questions below. And until next time, this has been Luke at Ultra Consumer.